Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Penticus dodecahedron. This is the shape that uh, on my channel has been uh, named Penticus dodecahedron V2 as it's the second one of these types of shapes that I have made. The uh, first one being very old back towards the beginning of my channel. Uh, to make this version though what you're going to need are 20 of these subunits here. The way that you make them is you start off with two rings of 48 magnets and six rings of seven magnets. You take the rings of 48 magnets, you pinch them in the middle and bring them together like this and close them in the center. Now, you can see I didn't quite get this even. You can kind of shift this over a little bit and now all the edges are even. For these, you want to cut these up into double stacks and keep in mind that these are the opposite polarity from this. Each one gets flattened down into a straight piece, gets this single magnet pulled off the end, and then you can attach it here in the corner, like that. Do that to the other two as well. And that's how you make these subunits. Again, you need 20 of those. You're also going to need 12 pentagon rings. To begin building this shape, you take these subunits and you start assembling them together. They go together like this. But before you start doing that, these, which like to balloon out because they're so short, need to have one of them. You need to, let me see if I can show this one magnet off the tip there, just like that, and add it down onto the other one. This way, when you bring the two subunits together, there's no fiddling around with these middle parts. It all just clicks together, just like that. Uh, go ahead and attach two more here and here. so that you end up with this. Now you want to add six more of them to there, there, here, here, and here, and here. And that'll create three five-sided corners. And now you're halfway done. You'll note that right around this point is where it starts to gain some strength. Up until now, the whole thing has been pretty flimsy. Uh, complete these five-sided corners as you uh, get them to this point by adding pentagons down on top of them. Here, I'm gonna cut three off the tube. And they go down on these corners just like that. That. And that. And that gives it a little bit of extra strength as well. Go ahead and keep adding these subunits on. Complete pentagonal corners as you go. And you should finish the shape.
And there you go. This is the uh, second version of a Pentecosto decahedron. Uh, I like this one quite a lot better than the first one. I guess retroactively it would be the V1. This one has much more even looking edges. The whole thing is much more, I guess, aesthetically pleasing to me at least. It's also quite a lot stronger. Um, this is a shape that I guess be, due to being made up of all triangles has a whole lot of structural integrity given how much empty space is uh, enclosed inside of it. Um, I'm actually planning on using this shape uh, in a new interlaced polyhedra that I'm going to be working on shortly. Expect that video maybe the next one or one after next, depending on how much trouble I have with it. Uh, but it will have this shape worked into it. So I guess I'll go ahead and smash it now.